And welcome to our uh, event of what has happened with GQ computing and why we believe it is going to be so important. So this is a the Star Trek trailer. And uh, for those of you that haven't seen the Star Trek movie, I absolutely recommend you go see it. It's, it's fantastic. This particular clip is a 1080p, I'm oh, sorry, this particular clip is a 720p clip. Um, and uh, 720p? Yeah, 720p clip. And what we're going to do, we can play it back on the on the ion PC, of course, just fine. I'm gonna, we're going to take this clip. It's two minutes long. We're going to take it, and we're just going to drag it right over on top of the uh, portable media player. And we let go, and up pops a, uh, a a little thing that says, "Let's convert and start," and we'll time it. So we're going to keep track of which one of these two PCs is able to convert the, uh, uh, the file faster. We've got the ion system here. We have the uh, atom system here. Right. This is running on the. This this particular demonstration right here is running on the uh, the current release version of uh, of Windows, uh, Windows 7, um, and it's doing this conversion. And while it's doing this conversion, one thing I want to point out, this is still not the final release of, of Windows 7, so the, the, the timer bar that you're seeing does not quite represent what the, uh, uh, what the time is. Um, I think that, that, there we go. Oops. Wait. No, you're good, you're good. So we've, we're converting it, and, and I think that this one stopped, this one finished. That one's finished, that's through. So that one finished in about, Roughly a minute and a half or something like that. I think I actually finished faster than I thought it was going to be. The CPU is still trudging along. Now, I happen to know that the CPU will take roughly about five times longer than right. a GPU to do this conversion. So maybe we should. Right. So this one's still uh, huge performance improvement. Here's the here's the portable media player now with that converted file that I was talking about. That exact same um, uh, piece of content, right? The, the Star Trek trailer. I can take it with me. So it was converted from high definition into a lower resolution and placed on this device in less time it actually took than to play the, the, the piece of content itself. Right? Okay? This is a new HP TouchSmart PC. It has built into it one of our NVIDIA GPUs. On the Touch, on the touch Smart here is a new application called Moloscope from a company in Japan that has built what I think was one of the most innovative new video editing applications uh, shipping in the marketplace today. And they've made it all touch enabled, right? So I can just take it and I can interact with it uh, uh, by just touching the screen. So now with this application, I can take maybe a uh, slightly different video clip, a couple other little clips that are probably a little bit more exciting and interesting. I'm going to pause right there and I'm just going to write in so that everybody knows. There's Jensen. Have that little effect in here myself. There's little stars there. Maybe Check the highlight that. Right? There's Jensen. A little bit more exciting video of Jensen. Slow motion, cruising on his uh, on his skateboard, a little bit of skiing. Some skydiving with all the skydiving buddies. And there's Jensen right there, surfing. Good movie, Mr. the Rock. <laughs> what the original video looked like. The original video, you can kind of hear the kids in the background. The original video, kind of dark, it's a little grainy, so added. The ability to be able to do stabilization. So now over, drag back and forth. I clean that video up from what it originally looked like on the GPU. So it's playing back in real time off the, off the hard disk drive. The GPU is cleaning up in real time. And then you can take this and share it with your, uh, with your family. Okay, so here is a screenshot, and let's go right into the, uh, uh, the demonstration itself. We have simulated a, the ocean now on the GPU. We've been working with Microsoft to build in the ability to use our new physics API, our physics application that game developers can use to get a really cool overall effect inside your, um, uh, inside your, your, uh, your game. Oh, and as that car, our little NVIDIA race car, moves around. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, what the game is like with physics and without physics. Let me show you just a little bit 
of the game if you turn those physics effects off. is the explosions, all the debris flying all over the place, the mist on the ground as the, as the robots or the characters move through the game, the cloth and things like that. Again here, the cloth that you're seeing, the explosion and the other objects interacting as a result of that.